Hello all. All right. Yesterday I was up in the uh, North Bay of Marin. As the day wore on, it got hotter and hotter. I began to uh, melt down and not able to function very well. When we got into the 90s, I was gone. But fortunately for us, the temperature started to fall right away. The sea breezes kicked in and our air conditioning saved us from a hot night of suffering. Today is supposed to be even hotter. I'm in San Francisco today, so I don't have to worry about this heat too much. It's rare for San Francisco to get hot too often. It's in the about 81 right now. So, I couldn't do a video yesterday and of course that's when everything started to happen. It was quite interesting watching all the news and the different things that were happening throughout the world. Let's talk about a little bit of that, especially when it has to do with the planet Earth and our environment. All right, let's talk about another new study about the Arctic and what's happening up there. They're saying that the thawing is happening very, very fast now. The rate of thawing is rapidly increasing. This increased melting and heating of the Arctic is causing more methane and CO2 releases than ever thought. They're finding that it is a massive amount of release, which is also helping to continue global climate change. So Greenland is melting sixfold in just the last 20 years. And also in Greenland, the melting season began one month early this year. That's how it was early last year too, huh? So part of the study shows that fire is now becoming part of everybody's problem. No matter where you are in the world, just up the temperature one or two degrees and the fire danger increases tremendously as we're seeing all over the planet now with these horrendous wildfires. So unfortunately, we're seeing a double barrel high over the Arctic at this very moment. Let me show you what we're looking at. You notice that the temperatures are beginning to climb. They're expecting to see record temperatures all over the Arctic in the next couple to three days. That's going to increase the melting of the Arctic. So I wanted to uh, update us on the food shortages that are coming here in the U.S. and other places around the world. Right now, we're having food probably better than we'll ever have from here on out. From here on out, the climate is going to make the food lower quality and less available. And less available. Less available. Here is a food planting chart. As you can see, for instance, corn is 58% of what it normally is. And let's look at this chart where we see corn and soybeans that aren't even planted yet. So what's causing all the damage to the crops? Well, of course, floods, wind, and hail damage is the main cause. This is becoming the worst harvest in U.S. history. So the last major failure of harvest here in the U.S. is called the Dust Bowl Days. We're going right back to it, and look at the economy. Look what's happening now. Dust Bowl, economy crashing, and look who's in the White House. And yet another new study. This one from Climate Restoration Australia. They did a study and found that if people kind do not restore the biosphere right now, human activity will go into a complete collapse by 2050. By 2050. Complete collapse by 2050. By 2050. So as we're seeing with the uh, weather disasters all over the world, that we're having uh, oops, ah, mosquitoes everywhere. <laughs> the 
that we're, we're seeing that these disasters are getting stronger and stronger, but they're not that much stronger than they have been all along. It doesn't take much to cause the world to go into a meltdown situation, which seems to be what's happening right now. But yet, uh, so many in charge are still calling this a hoax. And there's, there's so much we can do to get ourselves out of this problem. But it doesn't include putting in the same politicians we've been putting in year after year. The Democrats here in the U.S., Joe Biden, the top runner, has put out his climate plan. Green New Deal gone soft, and we already know that the Green New Deal isn't enough. The science is out on that, but yet Biden puts this up as, as an alternative to the Republicans. You see, and the other problem is that there's not going to be an impeachment, apparently, or the Democrats are going to go down screaming before they uh, pull impeachment on the orange man, which is so important so that we can get somebody in there that can uh, do something. And I know that a lot of you will come on and say, you still think we have a chance now with all what's going on? Guys, it's been this way in the past. Humans were down to just a few couples. So, yeah, I think humans will pull through this. But I think it will be a very primitive society once the collapse happens. It certainly won't be anything as good as it is now. Enjoy the food while we can. The food is going to become a major issue, especially when the prices go up to where people can't afford it anymore. And the politicians do nothing.